The CDC is reporting that since the year 1999, drug addiction related deaths in the United States have quadrupled. So this is a huge topic right now. Joining me now is Dr. Emily Lazenby and she's with Medplex Inc. So Dr. Lazenby, what's the biggest thing you want people to know about addiction? What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. And so opiate addiction is still on the rise. Absolutely. In the U.S., um, there's been some recent new attention from the presidential administration um, setting aside new funds and changing some limits for medications that can help. Um, and in fact, the Surgeon General has even asked people to look at opiate dependence as more of a chronic condition like diabetes or high blood pressure. So they've focused attention and resources on helping with addiction? Absolutely. Okay. Um, and so how can people get in contact with Medplex Inc.? Because I know there's going to be a lot of people watching today that this could really change their lives. Absolutely. If you are call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. The CDC is reporting that since the year 1999, drug addiction related deaths in the United States have quadrupled. So this is a huge topic right now. Joining me now is Dr. Emily Lazenby and she's with Medplex Inc. So Dr. Lazenby, what's the biggest thing you want people to know about addiction? What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. Someone you care about needs help please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. Hi, I'm Devron Smith with Steel City Realty Group in Trustful. Are you thinking of buying or selling a home in the Birmingham area? What about a career in real estate? Call or text me and let's get started today. A little compassion can go a long way. One of our clients, a retired firefighter, a man who dedicated his life to helping and serving others, lost his own home in a fire. He searched through the rubble and managed to salvage one precious thing, his original firefighter's uniform. The look on his face, it's a moment I'll never forget. It's why we do what we do. We are Paul Davis! I am Paul Davis, and I am a difference maker. That's it, swing all the way through going forward and all the way back. There you go, there you go. Woo! That's tough. Yeah, pretty yeah. Wow. <laughs> Drive your hips up. Good. Now, with your legs.
at this time as we have just a few minutes before the contest. We'd like to take a moment to recognize the trainers who put up with these boys every week. So, Aaliyah Evans, Rain Baskin, Michaela Carter, Sanaya Walker, Zoe Mangina, Caden Hasbury, Makaya Love, Jada Griffin, Messiah Neal, Mariah Thomas, Kenzie Lilly, Asia Dorsey, Kira Wilson, and Taylor Millen. Give these girls a round of applause. These are the ones who are taping these boys up and patching them back together so they can go, in, uh, go into the games and do their thing. Want to make sure we show the trainers some love. And the Cougar captains taking the field. Zero, Roderick Ivey. Number two, Tevis Metcalf. Number five, Taurus Chambers. And number 11, Bravis Cave Jr. Your captains for this week's game versus Pinson Valley. Number zero, Rod Ivey. Number 11, Carlos Ivey. Number five, Terrace Chambers, and number two, Tevis Metcalf. Benson Valley will receive to open the contest. And I think I was able to make out one of those captains for Pinson Valley. That gold on white's a little tough to see, but I believe one of them was number 55, Parker Knight. HSA would like to remind everyone in attendance that sportsmanship is the key. We ask that all fans please refrain from booing or deriding the official, saying negative things about the players, team, or coaches. of Pinson Valley. Number 39, Anton Ellison will handle the kicking chores 
for Clay Chalkville. Benson Valley with three deep back to receive. is going to be returned by number 81, Elijah Kelly. And Penson Valley will have the opening drive of the contest starting at the 25-yard line. Have a false start against Pinson Valley. So it'll be first and 15 for the Indians from the 20 yard line. Benson Valley trying to escape number 13 of the Cougars, and that is Macarius Allen getting into the backfield for Clay Chalkville. That'll bring up second down. And we have another false start against Pinson Valley. Cougar defense getting in there quickly. Coming up out of the bottom of the pile, DJ Barber along with Carlos Ivy, and that'll bring up third down. A loss of yardage on the play. It'll be third and 18 for the Indians. Dylan Reese, the quarterback, yet had to take off with it. Short gain on the play, fourth down. Benson Valley to punt. turn so it'll be first down for the Cougars in Pinson Valley territory ball is spotted at the 48 yard line for Clay Chalkville, that is Taurus Chambers. Gain of six on the play, it'll be second and four for Clay Chalkville. Ball with the 42.
pass attempt by the Cougars falls incomplete. And that'll bring up third down. intended for Chambers falls incomplete and that'll bring up fourth down for the Cougars. into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. Second and five for Pinson Valley at the 25 yard line. Swarm of Kubi defenders bring down the Pinson Valley ball carrier. Play. Number four, Kiwan Posey, has to come out for an equipment check. The ball will be spotted at the 40-yard line. Pass is complete. Receiver appears to be number 41, Roland Riley. Gain of two on the play, it'll be second and eight for the Indians. Ball is at the 42-yard line. Thank 
complete. The intended receiver, number 19, Travion Edwards. And that'll bring up third down. Cougars swarm in quickly. Here, that was Joshua Woods, the intended receiver. He's going to be brought down by number 12, Xavier Starks of the Cougars. And that'll bring up fourth down. and Valley. The timeouts this evening are brought to you by Cross Point Baptist Church. That's it. Swing all the way through going forward and all the way back. There you go. Oh. There you go. Woo! That's a tough yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Drive your hips up. off nearly half our building's roof. Paul Davis immediately secured and stabilized our property to prevent further damage. With commercial properties, speed really matters. We use 360 scanning to make Second and two for the Cougars. Favor on the reverse. He's going to get close to the 40 yard line. Either way, it's going to move the sticks. And that'll be a Brett Rogers, Keller Williams Realty first down for the Cougars. And Osley has room, and no one in front of him. All right, Cougar fans, I'm out here to do this. I'm out here with you. Finish it for me. That's a touchdown for the...
And Ellison cashes in the North Park Baptist Church PAT. 5-11 remaining in the first quarter. Your Cougars lead 7 to nothing. and with the Paul Davis restoration kickoff. We have a flag on the field. foul against Clay Chalkwell. It's all said and done. The ball will be spotted at the 32-yard line. And you have an offsides against the Cougars. It'll be first and five for Pinson Valley from the 37. Freeman. And this is going against the Cougars. And we'll put the ball in Clay Chalkfield territory at the 48. Complete brings up second down. And we have a false start against the Indians. And as a result of that penalty,
The ball will be at the Indian 47. Number 41, Roland Riley with the reception. But it looked like Xavier starts with, got him with a textbook tackle. And that'll bring up third down for Pinson Valley. Number 13, Derrico Freeman. Looks like Pinson Valley is coming out to punt. On the stop for the Cougars, number 13 to carry is Allen. Compton back deep for Clay Chalkle. They're going to fake. And number four, Kiwan Posey with the fake. We'll get to the 21 yard line of the Cougars. going to go against Pinson Valley. They have to lay a game. It'll be first and 15. Ball goes to the 26-yard line. Number seven, Floyd Calhoun. Jamarcus Jones brings him out of bounds. Second and six for the Indians. And number 45. For the Cougars, that is Patrick Smith is going to bring Posey down. Loss of yardage on the play. It'll be third and ten for Pinson Valley. Ball is at the 21-yard line. against the Indians.
doesn't look like Tenson Valley quite got there for the first, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Tenson Valley, you got to go for it. All right, Cougar fans, you got to make some noise for your defense. That pass is complete, but it looks like he's going to be maybe just short. We'll see. And they didn't get it. Make some noise for your Cougar defense. By the way, fans, I hear at the concession stand they have some pom-poms and some other toys, if you will. So be sure to grab one of those uh, from the concession stand. Something that sounds like this. Cougars running hard. Osley, the ball carrier, he's going to be brought down by number three, Raymond Lewis of the Indians. Bakway on the keeper. Gain of three on the play. It'll be second and seven for the Cougars. Off to a bit of a rough start, but he gets to the 40 yard line before he's brought down by number three, Raymond Lewis, and number 11, Cam Benefield of the Indians. That's going to be a Brett Rogers Killer Williams first down for the Cougars. Chambers, the ball carrier. Have an official's timeout. Number 54, Katavion Scroggins, able to come off under his own power. So let's give that young man a round of applause. First and five for the Cougars from their own 45-yard line, 29 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. And 
and Chambers will get into Pinson Valley territory before he's brought down by number 28, Devontae Adams. And that'll be a Brett Rogers, Keller Williams, first down for the Cougars. Ball is at the 49-yard line. And that'll do it for the first quarter, folks. Your Cougars lead is 7 to nothing. I'm Brett Rogers, your trusted local real estate expert and the owner of the Brett Rogers Realty Group at Keller Williams. My team and myself take pride in making the home selling or buying process as painless and easy as possible. While a transaction can be stressful, we make it our job to take as much stress off of you so that you can enjoy your investments. We are not just here to sell houses, we are here to build relationships that will last a lifetime while helping your home dreams come true. When working for buyers, we work tirelessly to get you into a home at the best price and help you make sound decisions for your family. When the time comes for you to sell that home, we are here with the marketing expertise to showcase your property to the fullest and get you the greatest amount of profit into your pocket. We are here to guide you every step of the way with honesty and trust as our core values. Pick a partner you can trust when your biggest investment is on the line. You can visit our website at brettrogersrealtor.com or you can call me anytime at 205-540-1182. And let's get you to the closing table. And Bakway looking for room to his right, appeared to got, get across to 40. And the ball goes to the 38. And that'll be another Brett Rogers, Keller Williams, first down for the Cougars. And Bakway goes out of bounds around the 29. Three Indians in pursuit, one of them being Dylan Perry. Chambers, the ball carrier, Pills, pardon me, Pinson Valley defense reacts quickly. Now we have a sideline warning against the Cougars. Cougars get enough to move the sticks for a first. Ball is at the 28-yard line. Chambers gets inside the 25. Perry involved with another tackle. Cougars get to the 19. It'll be second one. And Bakwe bounces it outside. He's going to have enough to move the chains, and it's going to be a Brett Rogers, Keller Williams, Realty first down for the Cougars.
Adam Bakway cuts it back inside. He's going to get to the 14-yard line. Gain of three on the play. It'll be second and seven for the Cougars. bounces to his left he's going to be brought down by number 81 it looks like Elijah Kelly Marcus Thomas on the stop for Pinson Valley. snap and Bakwe manages to get a hold of the intended receiver number 11 Bravis Cave and it's just out of reach and that will bring up fourth down for the Cougars Chalkville. Hi, I'm Devron Smith with Steel City Realty Group in Trussell. Are you thinking of buying or selling a home in the Birmingham area? What about a career in real estate? Call or text me and let's get started today. Tell him 12 to 7. And Southside Gas and Lead Springville 14 to nothing. kick is no good eight oh four remaining in the first half of play
False start against the Indians. The penalty puts the ball at the 15. Low snap. Two good defenders at the bottom. Number 49, Avion Pickett. Give credit where it's due. That is a dime, folks. That pass hauled in by Derrico Freeman. Number 24 of the Cougars, Deion Callens, prevents the touchdown. First down, Pinson Valley at the 40-yard line in Cougar territory. Flag on the field. Posey trying to find some room before he's wrapped up by number seven, Carlos Ivy. attempt by Posey is incomplete. Third and four for the Indians. Correction, third and 14 for the Indians. Pass is incomplete. And we have a timeout on the field.
fair catch is signaled by the Cougars. With 5.37 remaining in the first half, the Cougars will start this drive from their own 15. is complete. Corey Barber with the reception. for the first, Osley the ball carrier. That gets him to the 28. Intended receiver number 16, Kamar Robinson. That pass falls incomplete. And that'll bring up second down for the Cougars. is complete to Craver. Jaden Lewis with the stop for Pinson Valley. Gain of five on the play. Balls at the 32 yard line. Under four minutes remaining in the first half. Intended receiver Craver overthrown falls incomplete and that'll bring up fourth down. Ellison comes out to punt. flag on the field. And with the penalty, it should be a first down for the Cougars. at the 37 yard line.
Chambers, the ball carrier. First one in there on the tackle, number 28, Devontae Adams. Gain of three on the play. And corrected that. That's a gain of two, so it'll be second and eight for the Cougars. Craver with the reception. He's going to be brought down by Cam Benefield. is reporting that since the year 1999, drug addiction related deaths in the United States have quadrupled. So this is a huge topic right now. Joining me now is Dr. Emily Lazenby and she's with Medplex Inc. So Dr. Lazenby, what's the biggest thing you want people to know about addiction? What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. Someone you care about needs help please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. Third down for the Cougars. And that pass is complete to Craver. Craver accelerates. No one's going to catch him, we'll see. He goes into the end zone. There's a flag. Somehow or another, his helmet comes off. Personal foul, face mask against Penson Valley. His helmet came off before he got into the end zone and had to whistle the play at that moment. So it'll be first down and goal to go for Clay Chalkville inside the five. Mbakwe is going to be brought down by number 31, Jamarcus Thomas. Second and goal to go, Cougars. And Mbakwe is going to get in there. All right, fans, let me hear you. That's another touchdown for the <laughs> 
And the North Park Baptist Church PAT is good by Ellison. A minute 39 remaining in the first half. Cougars leading 14 to nothing. Hewitt Trustfield leads Tuscaloosa County 35 to nothing. Oxford over Huffman 28 to nothing. Gaston City over Fort Payne 24-21. Vestavia leads Hoover 10 to nothing. Southside over Springville 14 to 7. Hillcrest over Hueytown 29 to nothing. Briarwood leading Pelham 18 to 14. And leads over St. Clair 31 to nothing. That one is blown dead. That looked like offsides against the Cougars. Restoration kickoff. It's a nice one. <laughs> Number 13, Derrico Freeman on the return for Pinson Valley before he's run out of bounds. at the 22-yard line. <laughs> Pass falls incomplete. The intended receiver, Floyd Calhoun. Second and 10, Penson Valley. Carlos Ivy, the defender in that area. Cougars bringing pressure. Ivy brings down Posey. It'll be third down. Gain of six on the play. Ball is near the 29-yard line. And we have a timeout with a minute and one second remaining in the first half.
Number 12 leading the way for the Cougars on the stop. And that is Xavier Starks. Nonetheless, it's a first down for the Indians. The intended receiver, number 41, Roland Riley. Rod Ivey, right there with him. 35 seconds remaining in the first half, second down. Ball at the 34-yard line. And DJ Barber is going to bring him down by shoestrings. And that'll bring up third down. And gain of a yard. Puts the ball at the 35. There is a penalty that brought it back. And it is spotted at the 25. It appeared to be holding. for the Cougars, Jamarcus Jones brings him down, third and three. Pass is complete to number 13, Jericho Freeman. He gets out of bounds, stops the clock and moves the chains for Pinson Valley, ball at the 49 yard line. intended for Asher Hawkins is incomplete and that'll bring up second down with 10 seconds remaining in the half. bringing pressure in his third down with two seconds remaining in the half. encourage all you fans in attendance to be sure to with the disaster a little compassion can go a long way one of our clients a retired firefighter a man who dedicated his life to helping and serving others lost his own home in a fire he searched through the rubble and managed to salvage one precious thing his original firefighter's uniform the look on his face it's a moment i'll never forget that's why we do what we do we are paul davis i am paul davis and i am a 
difference maker. And that pass goes wild, and that's how the half is going to end. Cougars lead 14 to nothing. Now let's get ready to hear two fantastic bands as they prepare for the halftime show. I'm Brett Rogers, your trusted local real estate expert and the owner of the Brett Rogers Realty Group at Keller Williams. My team and myself take pride in making the home selling or buying process as painless and easy as possible. While a transaction can be stressful, we make it our job to take as much stress off of you so that you can enjoy your investments. We are not just here to sell houses, we are here to build relationships that will last a lifetime while helping your home dreams come true. When working for buyers, we work tirelessly to get you into a home at the best price and help you make sound decisions for your family. When the time comes for you to sell that home, we are here with the marketing expertise to showcase your property to the fullest and get you the greatest amount of profit into your pocket. We are here to guide you every step of the way with honesty and trust as our core values. Pick a partner you can trust when your biggest investment is on the line. You can visit our website at brettrogersrealtor.com or you can call me anytime at 205-540-1182. And let's get you to the closing table. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our principal, Mr. Michael Turner, and our superintendent, Dr. Walter Gosselin, we present to you the 2023 edition of the Pinson Valley Marching Chiefs. The Marching Chiefs will be performing their competition show, Toxic, a love-hate relationship. Tonight's selections will include Can't Help Falling in Love, then we find out we're toxic. We love the way you lie into a bad romance. And we're going to end tonight's show by saying bye, bye, bye. The band is under the field direction of drum majors Tristan Jones, Gina Wilborn, and Jeremiah Bray. Drum majors, is the band ready?
now present the Pride of the Valley, the Pinson Valley Marching Chiefs!
Ladies and gentlemen, the Pinson Valley Marching Chiefs. The word itself says, I'm possible. Music gives soul to the universe and wings to the mind. Flight to the imagination and life to everything. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Clay, Alabama. The last time there were three better drum majors than these young ladies was never. Now stand up and get crunk. Come on, get on your feet. I see people sitting down. Got the cameras on you. All right, I see some people in the stands getting down with it. All right, all right. This evening we will pay tribute to perhaps the greatest entertainer of all time. Songs from the king of pop, Michael Jackson. And while gas prices are rising, tell us, can you feel it? Now finishing up the love never feels so good with Justin Timberlake. Now we're gonna roll in the don't stop till you get enough. Put your hands together for the Mighty Marching Cougars. And now get ready to enjoy some precision. 
as the band performs the Billboard pop single, Heartbreak Hotel, with a feature from the Cougarettes drama, a little something something, from the drum line in the middle. Put your hands together for the mighty marching cougars. And while you had to make some noise for both of these bands, Pinson Valley, raise your hands up for your band.
All right, folks, as we get ready for the second half of play, some quick scoring updates. Hewitt Trustville leads Tuscaloosa County 42 to nothing. Vestavia leads Hoover 20 to nothing. Oxford over Huffman 35 to nothing. Fort Payne now leads Gaston City 27-24. Pelham now leads Briarwood 21 to 18. Leads over St. Clair 34 to nothing at the half and Southside leading Springville 21 to 7. Number 46, Jose Capito with the kick. And a very nice return by Marlon Compton for the Cougars. Cougars will start the first drive of the second half from their 42-yard line. open up with an explosive run. Chambers gets into Pinson Valley territory. And the ball is spotted at the 35-yard line. is in the change. Davis kickoff. <laughs> and with the return, Pell City, pardon me, Pinson Valley. start this drive from the 26-yard line. <laughs> Bad 
That pass is complete to number 13, Jericho Freeman. Gain of six on the play. It'll be second and four for the Indians. Indians come straight up the middle. Pass complete to Riley. That's going to move the sticks for the Indians. Ivy and Patrick Smith with the stop. Short gain of about a yard on the play. Second and nine. And they're going to call offsides against the Cougars. So it'll be second and four. At the Cougar 49 for Pinson Valley. DJ Barber leading the way on that stop, the ball carrier. Number six, Joshua Woods. Short gain on the play. And it'll be third and three for Pinson Valley. And that pass falls incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth down. Make some noise for your Cougar defense. Here we go, they're going for it, folks. And that pass falls incomplete, and the Cougars will take over on down. Number five, Taurus Chambers, the ball carrier, going to be brought down by number 28, Devontae Adams. That's it. Swing all the way through going forward and all the way back. There you go. Whoa. There you go. Woo. That's tough. Yeah. Man. Wow. <laughs> Driving hips up, good, that was your last. heads out of bounds. Gain of four on the play, it'll be third and six. Ball at the Indian 43 yard line.
And that pass is going to fall incomplete. It appeared to hit him in the hands. Cougars going for it. And looked like he got it. He was right at the stick. And the ball is going to be turned over on downs. He's going to be just short of what was needed for the first. number 45, Patrick Smith. Gain of three on the play. It'll be second and seven. They fake the handoff. Posey on the keeper. The usual suspects in on the stop for Clay Chalkville. That pass is incomplete. is picked off. Rod Ivy snatches that one out of the sky. And it'll be first down for Clay Chalkville at their own 42-yard line. Boom, Bravis Cave goes bowling and gets a Brent Rogers, Keller Williams, Realty first down for the Cougars. Osley off tackle to his left. He's going to be brought down by number 37 of the Indians, Antoine Fuller. And we have a timeout, Clay Chalkwell. Your timeouts this evening brought to you by Cross Point Baptist Church.
folks, I have a scoring update, and yes, you are hearing this right. Vestavia Hills leads the Hoover Bucks 20 to nothing. Southside Gatson has extended their lead over Springville to 14. They lead 28 to 14. From Jay Bubba to Super Mario. And that pass goes from a rope from Jay Bubba to Super Mario. Folks, after some technical difficulties, it's another touchdown for the and Ellison Cash is in the change. All right, folks. I have a scoring update. Hill City. Lead center point, 17 to 8. with the squib kick. That's going to get covered up by number 44 for the Indians. And that is Dylan Perry. Henson Valley will take over at the 35-yard line. Defenders flow in quickly, led by number 49, and that is Mr. Pickett. Pickett bringing pressure, the intended receiver, number 13, Derrico Freeman. for the Indians. Runs into his own man and the turf finishes the job. Gain of a yard, it'll be fourth and nine.
And the fair catch is signal. Number 16, Kamar Robinson handling the chores. Cougars will start this drive from their own 29-yard line. Mbakwe on the keeper. And he's going to get dragged down by number 37 of the Indians, Antoine Fuller. Nine-yard gain on the play, second and one for the Cougars. Ball at the 38-yard line. Indians get penetration. Jamaricus Thomas brings down the ball carrier, Bravis Cave. And that'll bring up third down. And Mbakwe is going to get across the 45-yard line to the 46. And that's going to be a Brent Rogers, Keller Williams, Realty first down for the Cougars. Osley, the ball carrier. He's going to be upended by Cam Benefield of the Indians. Loss of yardage on the play will make it third and ten for the Cougars. Craver, the ball carrier. Complete to Barber. like the Indians may have stopped him again on fourth down. And that's exactly what happens. The Indian defense bottles up the Cougars on the last play. 
under a minute left in the third quarter. There's a flag on the field. And that looked like an ineligible man downfield against Pinson Valley. So the ball is spotted at the 40 yard line. And it'll be first and 15 for the Indians. And a big hit by the Cougars. Led by Carlos Ivy. Short gain on the play. It'll be second and 13 for Pizza Valley. Ball is at the 42. And that is the end of the third quarter, folks. At this time, we'd like to... Nothing over Huffman. Fort Payne and Gadsden City back and forth. Fort Payne leading 34-31. Southside over Springville 35-21. Have a flag on the field and it is a false start against Pinson Valley. That puts the ball at the 32 yard line. Second and long for the Indians. Pass is complete to Freeman. He's going to be covered up by number 12, Xavier Starks. Third and 13 for Benson Valley. And 
And a low snap is recovered. And Posey manages to avert disaster. And it'll be fourth and five for the Indians. Ball is at the 50-yard line. Make some noise for your Cougar defense. And that pass is going to fall incomplete. The intended receiver, Jericho Freeman. And the Cougars will take over at the 50-yard line. Hillcrest Tuscaloosa leads Hueytown 29 to nothing. Pass is complete to Cave. He falls out of bounds. Around the 46. <laughs> Pass intended for Craver falls incomplete. And that'll bring up third and six for the Cougars. Ramsey leads Pleasant Grove 21 to 10. Leads over St. Clair 34 to nothing. complete to Corey Barber and that's going to move the sticks and is a Brett Rogers Keller Williams Realty first down fans be sure to come out tomorrow the youth are playing and they are welcoming in the Mounties of Irondale so that's going to be a fun time watching the little guys put in the work on Saturday Mbakwe goes up the middle. He's going to be brought down by number 31, Jamarcus Thomas. Gain of three on the play. It'll be second and seven for the Cougars. Ball about the 29-yard line. And that pass just beyond Craver falls incomplete. And that'll bring up third down for Clay Chalkville. Mbakwe throws a rope to Barber. And that's going to be a Brett Rogers Keller Williams Realty first down for the Cougars. Ball spotted at the 21-yard line. 
First and 10, Clay Chalkville. 8.45 remaining in the contest. That pass falls incomplete. is reporting that since the year 1999, drug addiction related deaths in the United States have quadrupled. So this is a huge topic right now. Joining me now is Dr. Emily Lazenby and she's with Medplex Inc. So Dr. Lazenby, what's the biggest thing you want people to know about addiction? What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. Someone you care about needs help please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. On Blackway accelerates. And that's another touchdown. And the PAT by Ellison is cashed in. Those PATs brought to you by North Park Baptist Church this evening. set for the Paul Davis restoration kickoff. And he gets off a boomer. As a result of the touchback, Pinson Valley will start at the 20 yard line. Benson Valley looking for running room. There's going to be a loss of yardage on the play of about two yards. 
And that'll bring up second down. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Make some noise for your Cougar defense. Compton on the return for the Cougars. Personal foul penalty against Pinson Valley. So with that, the ball will be at the 21-yard line. Cougars with a short field. Six minutes remaining in the contest. And we have a timeout. With the disaster, a little compassion can go a long way. One of our clients, a retired firefighter, a man who dedicated his life to helping and serving others, lost his own home in a fire. He searched through the rubble and managed to salvage one precious thing, his original firefighter's uniform. The look on his face, it's a moment I'll never forget. It's why we do what we do. We are Paul Davis! I am Paul Davis, and I am a difference maker. Hi, I'm Devron Smith with Steel City Realty Group in Trustville. Are you thinking of buying or selling a home in the Birmingham area? What about a career in real estate? Call or text me and let's get started today. Number 31, Jamarcus Thomas with an open field tackle on Chambers. Gain of three. It'll be second and seven for Clay Chalkville. Bakway falls incomplete. (laughs) 
It'll be third and seven for the Cougars. And that looks to be a touchdown by Chambers. They said it's a personal foul against the Cougars. Nonetheless, the score stands. Sportsmanlike conduct against the Cougars. kick is good. After all, that is sorted out. We like to take a moment to remind all of our non-driving fans in attendance, make sure you have your transportation arrangements in place before the end of the contest. There is no loitering on Jerry Hood Field or within Cougar Stadium at the end of the contest. Make sure you have your ride in place. And by the way, fans, don't unpack your bags. We're back on the road over the hill visiting Center Point. Who as I have on the last report continues to lead I mean continues to trail Pell City. We'll keep you updated as we get information. And with the penalty, the Cougars are kicking from the 12. a boomer we have a flag on the field and it's offsides against the Cougars The Cougars will be kicking from their own seven. And we have a timeout on the field.
Payne and Gaston City. Going back and forth, Gaston City leading 44-41. And the Cougars get set to kick from their own seven yard line. And I gotta admit, haven't seen it before, probably won't see it again. A strange turn of events. And another boomer of a kick. Cougar special team swarm in quickly to bring down the return man. Benson Valley will start this drive from the 50. Hillcrest Tuscaloosa leading Hueytown 35 to 6. And another flag. And that resulted in the ball being put at the 35-yard line. And Cougars get back there quickly. Loss of yardage on the play will make it second and 15 for the Indians. The ball is at the 40. Benson Valley running into the teeth of the Cougar defense. Number six, the ball carrier, Joshua Woods. And the flag is on the field. And that is going to be holding. There's another flag that comes flying. And there's another flag. So we have holding, personal foul, chop block, both against Penson Valley. Ball is spotted at the Cougar 48. Multiple Cougars on that stop, including Randell Cole. Ball is at the Cougar 44-yard line, and it is fourth down. Fourth and long for Penson Valley. Have a delay of game against 
Penson Valley. That'll put the ball at the 49-yard line. And Penson Valley looks like they're going to go ahead and punt it. Jamar Robinson back deep and it takes a Penson Valley bounce inside the 15 and it's going to be down at the 14 yard line. City continues to lead center point 17 to 8 in the fourth. And Thompson all over Spain Park 55 to 14. Number 32, Isaiah Miles. Ball carrier. And there goes Miles. Got one man to beat. He's going to be brought down. Isaiah Miles with a big run. Number three, Raymond Lewis runs him down. And that's a Brett Rogers Keller Williams Realty first down for the Cougars. Miles, the ball carrier, once again, another solid run. First and goal to go. Miles continuing to grind it out. And that'll do it for the contest, folks. Your Cougars come away with a 41-0 victory. We'd like to remind everybody, don't unpack your bags. We're back on the road next week as we go to center point to take on the Eagles. We'd like to thank everyone for coming out to Cougar Stadium this evening. We want to thank the Pinson Valley Indians, the fans, the band, cheerleaders, auxiliary, and especially the football team and the coaches for coming out this evening. You put in a fine effort, and we wish you the best of luck throughout the remainder of the season. We wish safe travels home to everyone this evening. May the Lord add a hedge of protection around you. God bless each and every one of you, and go Cougars!